from JAXA. Thank you, Mike. Uh, it is my pleasure uh, to join this uh, pre-flight briefing. This flight is the first flight of Kibo assembly on orbit, followed by uh, one J flight in May and two J flight uh, early next year. This flight will be a monumental occasion for JAXA, even for Japan, because uh, JAXA will be soon a visible partner on orbit of International Space Station for the first time in history. For the status of our preparation, uh, all crew training had been done last year, and they are ready. Doi and crewmate are ready for flight. And also, I'm glad to uh, report that JAXA human spaceflight team at our scuba facility, formed by both engineers and flight controllers, led by uh, three flight directors, uh, introduced by Dana earlier, are all now ready to fly our element. Uh, today, I'd like to brief about Kibo with its overall configuration, then to show uh, its uh, launch configuration of this very fast flight, and to introduce a video image of our scuba space center to give you a feel of its flavor. Let's start with uh, uh, animation. Please uh, put it up. Uh, this is graphical image of uh, GEM, uh, fully constructed. Uh, looked from forward of ISS. Uh, Kibo pressure laboratory is about uh, 11 meters. And this accommodate 23 racks and 12 of which are for experiment purpose. This is Murphy rack, this is Hybo rack, workstation. Uh, Okay, if looking from Harmony, you see uh, six rows of rack and uh, airlock at the end. Those two racks shown are on this flight. Kibo uh, storage module uh, accommodate eight rack. This is fi final destination of this rack. Uh, this is outer hatch of our airlock for equipment transfer between inside and outside. An external experiment platform is designed to primarily use robotics service with EVA uh, backup in just in case. Uh, this is animation for uh, handling uh, payload uh, outside. This full configuration will be accomplished after 2JA flight. Okay, uh, then uh, I move on to uh, GLP photo. Uh, please put it up. Okay, this is same photo as uh, Dana explained. We have eight rack and five of them a uh, system rack, which will be transferred to uh, JPM, gem pressure module, uh, during next flight. And we have two flight, due tie rack and uh, cyber rack. This is for our science <laughs> experiment. And uh, we have one storage rack. And those bags fastened to the surface of rack uh, hold a few of uh, loose items and critical spares. Uh, those eight rack will be uh, brought into a Kibo pressure laboratory when uh, uh, pressure module arrives. Uh, now, I'd like to uh, briefly introduce our JAXA's scuba space center. It is located uh, 40 miles northeast of Tokyo, 
uh, established in 1972, initially for satellite operations and research and development activities. This center has hosted the JAXA Human Space Flight Program since uh, early 1990s. Please show the video. This is the headquarter building of Tsukuba Space Center, a new nine-story building. On the way to human space flight area, you'll find a small pan and a family of wild duck settled there year-round. This is space station operations facility, uh, Kibo mission control room at the first floor. Uh, those are some of scene from flight control simulations. Flight directors sits at the second row, uh, left aisle. Uh, those are flight controllers, can uh, say position and flat position here. And she's uh, J plan, planner, uh, taking care of plan, uh, flat again. Uh, she's a uh, lead flight director. Uh, seriously, uh, I contacting with Senin to resolve uh, something, uh, malfunction. This is a separate room for engineers. They are closely watching uh, flight and discussing about uh, uh, malfunction or lesson learned. We have get through uh, more than 60 domestic simulations and about 20 joint simulations with MCCH. And this uh, uh, Kibo mission control will soon be a home to uh, Kibo mission operations. In addition to these uh, hardware preparations, our uh, astronaut Takao Doi will fly as uh, his second flight and will participate in various tasks uh, attaching Kibo and prepare for uh, next flight uh, in the JLP. Again, I am very glad uh, to get this point of preparation very close to the long awaited moment. I also appreciate NASA colleague and she's a colleague for their efforts. I'm looking forward working with them in real time with uh, uh, all of our colleagues. With this, uh, I'd like to pass on to uh, uh, Daniel. Thank you very much, Yoko Yamasan. It's a great pleasure for me to be here today. We've been working on the special purpose dexterous manipulator for over 10 years now. And to be only a week away from launch is extremely exciting. Next uh, graphic, please. Dexter is the 